okay, Ken, we got it, you work out, like. <laughs> circle and I want to talk about Ken. Poor old Ken. <laughs> Ken has had some unique looks in the past. Um, interesting fashion choices. Um, left out sometimes I feel like from certain lines, situations, things, you know. I mean, he's been around for 60 years. Uh, you know, they, they did try. Mattel tried to release a 60th, you know, few dolls for that and a lot of people were like, it's lacking. And you know what? I agree. <laughs> um, and now they have done some positive things with Ken over the years as well. Like they've included him recently into the new wave of fashionistas where they had three newer dolls. Uh, well, one was still Barbie, but you know, another hair, a little different and a different outfit in it, but three different dolls in wheelchairs this time. And they included Ken with that. Um, I feel like Ken is not represented when it comes to like made to move dolls. So like this one, we actually have a made to move body on this Ken. Um, they have given him different face molds. We have seen different bodies over the years as well. Like more of a huskier body, a leaner body. Uh, I still feel like there isn't that many Kens out there. I mean, I would love to know, I'm gonna attempt to Google, if I can find it, I'll throw some numbers up here for you of how many Kens were made in different body types, you know? Like now, so we do have with the Fashionista line different male dolls coming out. Um, that I do appreciate, which for example, like here's a couple on the back here. So we are there seeing different male dolls in the Barbie world, but is that enough though? Like for example, with the yoga line of the made to move dolls, because everybody's called yoga, I mean, to me, I just call them the yoga dolls, but every wave that has come out, we've seen different skin tones, hair colors, um, body types, but I haven't seen any, you know, Ken-like dolls or other male dolls in those lines. Why? And I get it, I get it. I know what everyone's gonna say. Male dolls and Ken dolls don't sell as well. They don't. I mean, the numbers are low. Mattel looks at the figures and it's just not worth them selling, pushing, promoting, and even making head sculpts and body sculpts for these dolls. That, that's why I'm glad this came out. So I'm gonna take him out of the package. I just want to show you what he looks like. And these retail for $19.99. Uh, I picked him up at Walmart. And it's one of those things where, I, as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. Because as a collector, at least, I don't really see a lot of made to move Ken's. Now in the BMR Barbie line, which was more of a collector line, it wasn't really more of a play line, we did see a lot of male, female dolls with made to move bodies, different fashions, different heights, different uh, face sculpts, makeup, no makeup. I mean, just such a great, great taste of what I feel like I would want to see more mainstream with Barbie and of course with Ken. <laughs> Again, it's all male dolls, but I mean, when you go into the core of it, you got Barbie and Ken, and I feel like Ken has always been kind of like left out on the sidelines, which something may have something to do with why not. I mean, now we have a little bit more of genderless when it comes to toys, um, but maybe that's why some boy identifying children haven't really leaned towards going with a lot of Barbie to play because they're like, oh, there isn't enough dolls that look like them. And I feel like there isn't a lot of, like I said, Ken and male dolls being produced. And again, I know it comes down to sales. I completely agree with that. The business aspect of me totally understands that. But as someone who A, has played with Barbies growing up and then also collects, I feel like there is something like almost lacking in that group of people who, you know, if I was someone who looked like, obviously, this is a ripped version of a man, but like, you know, in general, you know, boy growing up, I feel like this is something I would want, well, you know, I want one that looks like me. And again, just like growing up, I always lean towards, you know, growing up, you know, being part Hispanic, I, I, you know, liked the Teresa dolls because it's like, oh, she's the Latina character. So I feel like growing up, yeah, we had occasionally Ken on the side, but I feel like Ken was always like the accessory. Ken was never a main, main, main character. I mean, he is, I mean, but it was always like one of those things, even on like Barbie Life is Dream House, the animator. I love, that is my favorite. I love it, love it, love it. It was like the funny punchline. <laughs> and I'm like, that's kind of mean. Yeah, I get it. It was funny, I'll admit, I laughed. But also I was kind of like, oh, poor guy. <laughs> like, <laughs> poor guy. Why, you know, it's like everyone's just gotta be making fun of him. All right, let me get him out of the box and then we'll talk some more. All right, got him out of his package. I'm um, a little disappointed about the back of his head because the two holes that hold his head in are pretty predominant just because he has no hair, it's just molded on. So you can see the little head holes back here. That's, mm, you know, a little weird. You know what, he'll, he'll just have to be turned. Or maybe I could repaint his hair to darken it. 
Mm, one of the two. I do like on this wheelchair though that it says Ken on the back and the other ones I had say Barbie. So that's kind of cool. I like that it actually has his name on it for him. Um, overall, he's very, ooh, I almost dropped him. Um, really, see that's one thing about the Kens too. Maybe that's why they don't produce as many is maybe they're more expensive to make in the sense that he is weighty. Like, I mean the plastic, it does, there's some weight to this plastic. So I think that might be part of it as well. I do really like him though. Let me take off his glasses. You, I know it's bright in here with all the lighting, sir. Um, oh, his lip placement's a little strange, but he is really cute though. I like, again, the progression of Ken. I feel like, you know, compared to what we have in the past, I mean, and I'm posting images while I'm talking through this, that you can see that, you know, Ken from the back of the day, he, he looked a little older. Uh, <laughs> I feel like he was more of a mature figure um, versus now when we're going into something like this, he does look more youthful. I feel like that he captures more of today's era. Um, is he my favorite sculpt? I don't know, cause like, I hate to say it, I grew up with the older face sculpts. So to me, I'm like, Ken's more of that mature looking figure, but I like that he has t tried to keep up with current styles with like the hair and everything. Cause for a while there, he had that side part looking hair for a long time. And I was just like, okay, Ken's time to update it. You know what I mean? So I'm glad that he's done something different. And then we had some Ken's where they had the, what was it, late 90s, early 2000s, weird hair poof shaved underneath thing that, you know, it, it doesn't, it looks okay, but it doesn't translate in a doll very well. And it's just like one of those things where I'm like, mm. <laughs> poor Ken, poor Ken. You know, and it's just, and I, I, again, I, I will always stand for any of the outer characters, even when it comes to like Midge or, you know, Teresa or anything else. But I just feel like Ken, again, is one of those characters where people are like, oh, well, maybe he's not really, you know, people aren't buying him as much. So they don't never made him a main focus. I mean, they have had dolls of just him. Like my favorite one was like the shaving Ken where his hair, facial hair would disappear. And you know, so they've tried to come up with different ideas. They try to cut, do things, you know, Mattel would try to do something where people would be like, oh, maybe people will buy it because this is cool. But I feel like a lot of it wasn't just marketed very right. Um, or strong enough because you know, Barbie sales were always so high. So why put money into something that isn't as high? And, and that's a sad thing, you know? Cause again, Ken, I feel like if he had a better opportunity, he would be doing better. Does he have articulated ankles? He does. So he's full made to move. I love that. Love that. Look at, <laughs> look at him, he's like, okay. <laughs> I love that. He's just like, yes, yes. Okay, Ken, we got it, you work out. Like, <laughs> some of us don't as much anymore, I should. Um, I mean, that's one of those things though. I feel like if they were to do more with Ken, like I said, they have tried, they've done. I have bought one when I did my Archie from Riverdale repaint. If anybody remembers that video that I did, uh, I tried, I picked a Ken and I was like, oh, I like his face sculpt. I didn't realize that he had the more huskier body and none of the clothes fit him. And I was just like, mm, after I bought all these outfits that I put on him and I'm like, nothing works with him. And that's something that's kind of sad with Barbie. I feel like we can get away with different body shapes and the clothes kind of all intermix with each other. Cause a lot of them tend to be more of like, they call it the sack dress, but like a baggier dress, but the baggier dress can fit on multiple dolls. With Ken, unfortunately, if the shirt is too tight, the shirt is just too tight. And I, I feel like that's one thing that has been lacked on him is the fashion. So going in from what we just talked about with the doll and stuff like that, the fashion. I feel like poor old, poor old Ken. He unfortunately has not had the best options in fashion. I feel like I always joke. I'm like, if I have to see one more Ken in a Malibu shirt, you know, and it's so funny. I go down to the Barbie aisle and even to this day with the new fashion bags, there are shirts that say Malibu. And I'm just like, okay, I get it. It's Barbie. Barbie and Malibu. But poor old Ken just always gets the same thing. He might occasionally get a denim short, short like this one, maybe in a different color. He always has tank tops. Why they tend to, like, I get it. Tank tops, I get it. People wear them. But so many though, and I, and I know it's probably just because the pattern, they, they're like, you know what? Ken isn't selling as well as Barbie. Take that pattern and make it out of any fabric because it's easier, it's faster, and they can produce more of them get it. But honestly, sometimes I want to see him in a sleeve and they do make sleeved outfits, but not that many. And that, or they give him a wedding tuxedo and it's always the same, like black tie. Uh, I've seen one blue one, which I bought years ago, but I feel like I, I want a little versatility in his outfits. Like they did make a shoe 
fashion bundle where it's like about like four or five pairs of shoes for like three dollars or something that is fun because i want to give him different shoes but i feel like his fashions are always either you know a sports wearing type of outfit where it's like like the jogger set is really cute. I feel like that's very modernized, but then some of them I look, I'm like, oh, here's another Malibu tank top. <sighs> Thanks, another one, you know? So I would like to see more oh, diversity in his fashion. Um, you know, it's one of those things where, again, I, I could just sit here for hours, just rant about, I'm like, poor old Ken, you know, just doesn't get as much love as Barbie or as some of the other dolls in the Mattel world. But, you know, he's still here. They're still making him. So people are buying him. Someone has to be buying him because if nobody was buying Ken, they would just literally have one Ken and that's it. I'm glad again in the fashionista world that they're making more male dolls. There needs to be more male representation in the doll world because we are getting there when it comes to, like I said, skin tone and hair textures and heights and body shapes. But also when it comes to like having some male dolls, like I, as a collector, like having, you know, a vast group or variety of different characters on my shelf and that's why when I saw this made to move Ken in the wheelchair I was like I have to get him because there isn't that many made to move Kens unfortunately and that's really sad I would like to see more of him I want to see you know a Ken like body different body types in made to move in like the yoga outfits I I would like to see that I feel like they sell well enough that they obviously keep making more of the yoga outfit made to move dolls, but I would like to see some more Kens in there. Even if it's like a basketball Ken or sports Ken, which I don't like just throwing them always into sports, but I, even if it was like a dancer Ken or, uh, you know, something, something, you know, just to throw that into the mix because we have made to move dolls that have been gymnasts before and basketball players, but I want to see like a male dancer or a male doing something made to move doll. Um, will we get it? I'm not holding my breath. We'll see. <laughs> Any other Mattel and Ken fans out there, comment below. Um, I know I threw a lot of my rant about this, but I would like to know what would you like to see from Ken? What would you want to see more from the world of Mattel with male dolls? I, I, I want more. And I feel like I've always say with Barbie and Mattel, we always want more, we always want more. We definitely want quality. And I feel like with him, for $20, I feel like this is, I'm happy with this. I think it's totally worth it. Again, the fashion, I'm not, saying it about it but <laughs> that's why they make other fashion packs or custom outfits that you can order uh you know i would like to see a little bit something different from him and we'll see what mattel ends up doing as always throw comments down below let me know what you're thinking and <laughs> definitely check out all the links in the description below from the podcast which we talk about different doll topics to hunting nostalgia which is a show that i work with my friend nick on that we're super proud of uh let me know like i said ken he's been here for 60 years and i want him to be around for another 60 but i feel like i want more from him all right bye guys